Welcome, welcome, one and all, to part 16 of Kirby's Dream Land 3! And before we begin, a shout out to you! You're awesome! Maybe. So let's go. Last time we were fending off currents with a sticky A button. Two button. Why is it sticky? Oh god, why is it sticky? Okay, I think we'll be able to deal. But anyways, we're not actually fending off the currents, we're going into them! Because uh, if you didn't have the owl, this part of the level would be stupid if you couldn't go through currents and stuff. Why is this button sticky? It is going to be aggravating in the near future. Possibly. But in any case... Da -da 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 -da, there's the end of the level! Once again, remarking on my tendency to finish videos near the end of a level. By coincidence. Whoa! Okay. Hello, Orange Snow Man. That makes a whole lot of sense. It makes so much sense that I won't go poor for a decade. Because I'll be selling memorabilia about the nonsense that it made. Not for other reasons, like wordplay. And so, we save state. This is the level where you need to keep Rick, as evidenced by the pink girly hamster in the box to the lower region of the screen area. Yay. So we have to find Rick. I'm assuming that he is, of course, in the level. But I know that the game pulls a, Ah, you need someone who's not in the level. In the last world. Let's see. Third room, get Rick. Okay, Rick is in the level. That is a benefit to our experience. So, yes. So, we will get Rick, and we will bring him to his girlfriend, who is hanging out in the middle of... Cloud City for some reason. She's probably cheating on him with Lando Calrissian. Or Darth Vader. Or Lando Calrissian. It's always Lando's fault. Come. <clears throat> but anyway. Oh no, it's the second room. Counting is good for you. And because we have Mr. Owl, who can, among other things, tell you how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, we can fly directly to that exit that I got to before I finished explaining what I was talking about. Hello, Rick. You have to make precarious jumps in this level. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like safe stating. Don't tell your grandparents, kid, children's. Whoa, ho, that was amusing and fun for everyone. Not... Dear Rick, you can wall jump. Your friend, observant person. Hello, eating a bowl thing. Hello, Thing. Do you have a power for me? You are a parasol, apparently. I could have just not thrown that away in the first place. Um, never happened. Why am I all the way back here? Rewind, you have failed me. Which is what you tend to do all the time, so I should really learn my lesson. It's more like, please be kind. Never use the rewind function ever. Ever! Because if you use it, you're, a, you're stupid, like me. We so yes, we are adventuring through the precarious jumping plateaus by stabbing Scarfies with an umbrella soul, which is not a real thing, or like a fake thing. It's like half real and half fake. Oh, we can jump on enemies by dying. No, impossible, incorrect. So um, yeah, this is a level that's actually slightly difficult in a Kirby game because you have to use Rick, who's not accustomed to um low travel fares, or whatever the problem here is, which would be cliffs and death pits. So this is the part where if you don't know Rick can wall jump, you're essentially screwed, like, a lot, to the extent that you can't go on. Like that. Like how I don't know how to do it properly, so I can't do anything. And that's why we're going to save state. There we go. No. No. There we go. Success is at its peak. Perhaps. What's down here? Death! Death is always a fun thing to experience. If you're new to the whole death thing. But if you've had... If you've died before, it's just kind of the same. It's not really worth it. So. Moving along into the pink frothy clouds of 
water. <laughs> ha ha. Anyways. We ha. Let's go, crazy hamster man. We will fly into space. Possibly. That seems illogical. Jump for justice! Whoa, no, no, don't run off the cliff for justice still. Let's try to stab this guy. There we go. He has been stabbed. But I have been dead! This is not good times. Uh, jumping is uh, the means of my success at this moment. Because flying is not in the question of the possibility. Hey, look, it's the ending. That wasn't so bad. I just nearly died. It's Rickolina, Rick's girlfriend. Rick must be into palette swaps. Let's just leave those two hamsters to make 400 babies. So yes. We're gonna save and cheat for the max tomato again. I love doing that. It's my favorite present time pastime. Oh, so close. Jump, Kirby! Jump! Hooray! Kirby is the best jumper if you try repeatedly. Yay. What's next on the agenda? This is the one where we have to make stuff look like other stuff like that other level that we already did that in. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. Do -do 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 Some of these drawings will come alive and attack you, maybe. But these aren't. Because they're too lazy to do that. Hey. Oh, I still have an umbrella. That's a nice thing to remember that you have on the occasion that you don't have an umbrella. But then you would... Never mind. Hello, Dark Wizard guy. You are like Kamek from Super Mario World, except without the Koopas. And that you turn blocks into nothing. This. Thank you for your assistance, which is on accident, because you really want to kill me! Which seems to be a common trait among the biology of this sector. I don't know why it's called a sector, but King DDD has an odd thing for, like, royal decrees and vocabulary combinations. Hello, Thwomp Analog! You're randomly there! Hey, look, it's Animal Friends. I want Nago, because Nago is Nago, and therefore, um, yeah. Who can argue with that kind of logic? Certainly not me. And thus, I obtain a large cat. Who cannot fit through the confined space. Created by Mr. Wizard up there. Mr. Wizard, teach me how to make fizzy soda pop <laughs> explode. Please to destroy block. Thank you, sir. Okay. This is the path to s successive rooms. Uh, so yeah. It's pogo time. Do 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 do. Pogo time means the death of your enemies because they cannot defend themselves against a giant pogoing cat. Because nobody is trained to fight. A cat who pogos around and is also ridiculously awesome. Because, like, why would you train anyone to fight a pogo cat? Hello, upside down puzzle piece. You are a clue to this level's solution. I'm happy to know that. Wah! Stuff from the ceiling is coming out of the ceiling and attacking me. Which is the same thing that you see on the screen without my explanation of it. So here we have to round out the blocks in a surefire manner, or something. No! Failure. Okay. We're gonna save because I feel like being a loser. Haha! -ha! Now we have to go up here and do that! And do that! So yeah. And then we have to... And then we have to do this. And then we have to go over here. Oh, I can't have that one either. And then we have to do that and this. No. No! Wait, when did I save? That was annoying. So yeah, that's a little bit annoying. So we're going to redo it again because I suck. 
There we go. Success is mandatory. D ah! Why is that beeping noise? Okay. Um. So we have witnessed my failure for the um, what second time in this arbitrary puzzle-solving exponential bonanza. I think I got it. Yeah! Victory for puzzles everywhere. And so, with that victorious note, we are going to go in this door. And then we are going to- Whoa! Pause! It's the end of the video! Drop your weapons and submit through the law! Or something. <laughs>